This is the dashboard of Hubstaff. Uh, each virtual assistant will need to make their own account. Um, you can send them an invite link via email. To send them an invite link, it's not very hard. Um, all you need to do is go to the people. And so we just have to go here and press invite a member. You will send them invite uh, via email. You can put their pay rate of, you know, um, one to ten dollars. It really doesn't matter at this point because as though you can pay through the system, I normally don't, but you can for sure. Or you can invite via a link. You can send this to your person that way they can come in and register and then they'll just show up like this. Um, you can see I have a disabled many VA accounts. I've had many VAs I've fired throughout the years. Um, and then I have some that I just love personally and I keep. Most of my VAs are on KPI performance um, versus Hubstaff because it does cost, I believe, somewhere between like 10 and $15 per month per person that's on your account. So I don't like to have a lot, especially since if I'm having 10 to 20 VAs, it really starts adding up. Um, and the cool part about this is you have timesheets. Um, you can kind of watch their time. Um, now, this is probably for me, so it's not going to show it. But if I go into for, like, say, for example, Linton, it will show that he's had 73% activity today and has worked nine, uh, nine hours and 37 minutes. And it shows his time from 11.02 to 8.40, which is about right now. Um, and so then you can look at that and you can even look at the weekly timesheets. It will show you the days they worked, et cetera. Um, now, what the tool I really like is the activity tool. It works very similar as you need to go to a person that you're trying to see it for. And then you're actually able to see their screenshots for the day. So that way you can see if they're working, what they're working on. This keeps you really on point to what, you, you know, if they're working, if they're moving fast. Because sometimes like this number right here, this 73 percent. Um, sometimes they could be waiting for a message or they're just not busy at the time, but it's a, still a pretty good indicator. You want them to be in the green. That's the most important is to be above 70% on that and to always kind of see movement as far as every five minutes, there's something new going on. Um, some VAs that use certain time trackers, they are no, some VAs, which not all of them, not many, but some new VAs, they'll try to get one over on you and they'll have like a software or some kind of tool that will show constant movement on their device and it will show 100% as their activity or they can scale it to something like 80%. They're not actually working, but they look like they're working because they're trying to make money without working. This tool will show you that empty screen where it doesn't move at all and nothing happens. That way, you know for sure that they're not doing their job and they can't, you know, they're not gonna be able to cheat you because of this. You, won't, you just won't pay them. And so... And there's another uh, way to do that is the KPI system, like I said before, where you give out and allocate a certain amount of task and they get paid per the task completion versus per hours worked. Um, there's different things as well. Um, there's URLs and apps, time machines. I don't use a whole lot of this, but the schedule thing's pretty cool as well. You can schedule different members for different things, time off requests. Um, reports, time and activity, weekly, amounts owed, payments, all reports, the people I use, it just shows your members, like I've shown you before, and then financials, as you can put different things in uh, for how much you're spending per month, and a, um, you know, kind of how that's going, and you can even have automatic payroll set up as well, piece of expenses, but automatic payroll can go on, where you can pay people on here automatically, if you have a set amount you're paying, per month. And so basically you just go here and you press edit, you put the, um, when you want to pay them, you can put required time sheet approval, hourly, uh, bill rates, wise email, wise name, wise currency. And this is the preferred thing we like to use is wise is also known as transfer wise. It's very, this is a very good system and it's very, very proficient. As you can see, there's different things you can do like, uh, integrate QuickBooks, you can ch uh, continue to check on activity, like we said, timesheets, schedule, time off, and all these other features as well. And like we said before, there's actually another thing that we have, and there, there are three in one. There's Hubstaff, Hubstaff Task and Hubstaff Talent. Um, Hubstaff Task is actually another thing where you can use something similar to Asana and give people different tasks. 
give people different tasks like AdSense, follow up, locating, da da da. And then you can put them on different assignments and give them an hourly um, marker to work in. And then you need to give them something that way they can, uh, when you give them a project and a task, which I believe this was free to use, um, as long as you have the, um, the other hub staff, the timer you're paying for, then they can use their timer and download 